understand calculus in brief. First of all, the left hand side is about the differentiation. And the right hand side is about anti differentiation or integration. Now, we will try to understand the left hand side differentiation. What is differentiation? So what is the meaning of that? If you have a curve, which is fx, and the differentiation gives the slope of a curve. For example, at x is equal to a, 1, if you look at this curve, if you look at this uh, slope here, is different to the slope here. And that slope is different to the slope at x is equal to 3. So these slopes are different. So I can say slope m1, slope m2, and slope m3. So we can say now this slope is changing respect to x. So we can write slope as a function of x. That would be the derivative of the function of x. So we can say slope as a function of x. Slope as a function of x. Now, if you want to find the slope values at individual points, example, at x is equal to 1, you can find the slope by plugging 1 here. And that would be ddx of fx evaluated at x is equal to 1. Again, if you want to find the slope at x is equal to 2, so you can plug that value here and you can find the slope at x is equal to 2. Similarly, at x is equal to 3, we can find the slope which is ddx of fx evaluated at x is equal to 3. So now we know by differentiation, we can get the slope of a curve. Now when it comes to integration, the physical picture of the integration is like this. Suppose you have to find the area under this curve which is bounded by A and B. So A would be your lower bound, B would, B would be your upper bound. If you want to find the area, which is this area, you can find that by using integration. Integration, the function would be fx, it is given. Now we have to specify the boundaries, in this case, A and B. So here you get the area under this curve. Now, for example, let fx function to be x squared, a to be 0, and b to be 2. So this function looks like this. So your lower bound is 0, your upper bound is at 2. So you are asked to find the area under this curve. What you will do? You will integrate from 0 to 2. Now your fx function is x squared. And once you integrate it, the answer would be x to the power 3 divided by 3. You have to evaluate at 0 and 2. So once you consider the boundaries, you will get 2 to the power 3 minus 0 to the power 3, which is 1 divided by 3 times 8. So the answer would be 8 divided by 3.